space flight for operations. And importantly, the European astronaut who spent the most time up in space so far, so he can place the... Um, the only fear I have is of forgetting something at this stage. I'm in transit from Houston on my way to Russia, and I'm rapidly you know, racking my brain as to what I might have possibly forgotten in my bag. Right, so usual thing, uh, say uh, where you're coming from and... As a test pilot, um, you perhaps experience uh, more risk on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, in this job, obviously, going into space has its risks. Uh, launch, landing, and uh, EVA are probably three of the highest risk areas. Um, and yes, there will be moments of apprehension, I'm sure, but one of the great things about the training is that it prepares you so well for these eventualities. Um, you, you almost expect something to happen. I, I've not sat in a Soyuz simulation yet where we haven't had a catastrophic failure of something. So uh, um, if I manage to get to the space station without a failure, it'll be a first. Uh, just look to your left as well, Tim. Across the UK will be inspired by this mission. The fresh air, I think. Um, I, I love the outdoors. Um, I, you know, I don't run on treadmills um, as a habit. I like to just go out, put a pair of shoes on, and run in the woods and, and run outside. So, um, uh, and I like doing activities with the family in the outdoors, camping, hiking. So, I think the not having fresh air for six months is what I'll miss the most. Back down to the bottom here. It depends on your definition of aliens. Um, absolutely, I believe in life forms on other planets, yes. And I think we might be close to discovering microbial, single-celled life forms, either in current existence or the uh, evidence of past, uh, past existence on Mars, for example. And that's something that we're searching for. We're always searching for organic compounds and the potential for life on other planets. So, yes, I believe in life on other planets, not little green men um, with ears and, and in our solar system, no. My question is, I know you have spent years training for this mission, but have you thought about how Father Christmas is going to deliver your presents to the ISS? <laughs> Hi Rufus, and um, it's great to see somebody from my hometown of Chichester as well, so um, welcome and, and thank you for coming here this morning. Uh, yes, that's a great question, Father Christmas. Well, we, you know, we spend every moment that we can looking outside the window. So as it, as it approaches Christmas time, I'll certainly be keeping a, a special eye out to see if I see any unusual activity uh, over planet Earth at the time. But um, I, I think my Christmas presents are not going to arrive by reindeer, but instead by um, Orbital 4, which uh, <laughs> will hopefully bring something up for me.